Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I know a lot of people are just starting to get into Rainbow Six. It's exploded in popularity lately, and also there's a lot of people transferring over from uh, console to PC. So I wanted to kind of go over uh, some of the different editions of the game really quickly. I know a lot of people have been buying the starter edition. I'll explain why it's bad to start with. Um, so I'll kind of I'll kind of go over the different editions of the game, kind of like a quick buying guide and a quick explanation. So everything in this game, uh, besides uh, just a few of the cosmetics, are unlockable with in-game currency. Just from playing, all the maps are free. You don't have to pay in-game currency to unlock the maps. So it's a great game to get into. It's one of the fairest business models I've ever seen in a video game, in my opinion. All the maps are free. Everything is, you know, you can get everything in the game just from playing. The maps are free right away, so they don't split the player base, which is so. I'll go over the, the four different editions of the game. And first and foremost, I want to talk about the difference between the Steam copy and the Uplay copy. So there's two different places. There's, you know, if you buy it from like Amazon or Newegg, I mean, unless it specifies it's a Steam copy, it's probably a Uplay copy. Now, if you buy the game on Steam, which I have the game on Steam, I have a Uplay copy as well. The game will launch through Steam and then launch Uplay afterwards, where if you buy it on Uplay, it just launches only through Uplay. So what are the benefits uh, of this so if you buy it on steam you could use steam wallet funds to buy stuff or you can go to say like you want to buy dlc or something like you want to buy a, there's a few premium cosmetics universal skins that are like a few bucks so say i want to buy the platinum weapon skin if i have this on steam i can use steam wallet funds like say i sell some skins in cs or dota or whatever, whatever any and pubg any game and i have three bucks in my steam wallet i can use that steam wallet to buy it or i can go on the ubisoft store and buy. I could do either one with the Steam copy. Whereas the Uplay copy, you have to just go to the Uplay store and buy it. You can't use actual Steam wallet funds. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the, the difference uh, between the two copies. But no matter what, you're going to be launching through Uplay at the end of the day. So if that's something you really want, you can go through Steam and get the game on Steam instead. Um, also, Steam tracks your hours and it's officially built into the which is, I don't think it's... But that's kind of the difference between the two copies. Uh, between Steam and the Uplay editions. But let's go over the actual different... There's four different versions of the game for sale on the Uplay website and on the Steam store. So uh, generally, the game, too, goes for about 50% off when it's on sale from Steam. So 40 bucks, 750 20 you know, whatever, et cetera. Uh, there are four different editions of the game. I want to go over this. Try not to buy the starter edition, if, you, if possible. If you just do not have the money and you're thinking about passing on this game then by all means, purchase the starter edition if it is your only option. Uh, but I'm going to explain to you why these are bad. So as the description shows here, you will instantly unlock. It says the starter edition is, uh, the only difference is the uh, all the level progression, everything's the same, servers, matchmaking, post-launch content, weapon options, maps, mode, all that's the same. The main difference is how you unlock the original 20 operators. The two operators at random of the pool uh, are unlocked. Rook, Sledge, Ash, Fuse, Mute, Smoke. So randomly, one of those operators is unlocked. The selection is made so we can guarantee a great moment of the experience at the start, and you're given 600 R6 credits so you can unlock two additional operators, or you could spend it on cosmetics, which I would recommend getting extra operators. So I'll explain. Um, I'll kind of show you. Well, here, let's, let's go over the regular edition. Now, the regular edition doesn't do that, and I'll show you the difference between the two. So these operators then cost, so after you get those two free ones and the two ones of the rainbow credits, so say you get, uh, I, I forgot which ones, like Rook and Fuse are your two that you get normally. So all of these other operators, so from, from right here, from the GSG9, like backwards, so all of these operators, basically these two top rows and then the two yellow icons right here, will cost 12,500 in-game currency. So you get about 300 to eh, five, 600 currency, depending on boosters and stuff like that uh, per game. A game takes like anywhere from 15 to, it could take up to 45 minutes. Uh, and then you can also do the weekly club challenges, which get you like bonuses. Like you get free charms and stuff all the time and extra, extra renown in-game currency uh, all the time. So it costs 12,500 to unlock these, which is, it is quite a grind. It's quite a grind. Or if you buy the complete edition, or not the complete edition, you buy the standard edition, which is right here for $20, or on Steam for, it's 40 now, but when it's on sale, 
uh, this is how this is this is how the unlock system works so this like say sledge for example right he will cost 500 in-game currency then when you pick in the, these same purple icons so you'll have an unlock system with these four operate these four uh purple icons the four you know orange icons fbi sas so the first sas unlock will be 500 the second one will be a thousand in-game currency 1500 and 2000 500 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and so on for like 500, 1,000. See what I'm saying? Like you kind of get the path. So for the first unlock in each category of the same color icon of these first original 20 operators, it'll be 500, then 1,000, 2,000. So you kind of get the idea. Whereas normally you just have say like four operators, two operators unlocked by default, then say you pick to unlock Twitch and Doc or something. Then all the rest of them are going to cost 12,500 for whatever's left. Now, DLC operators, which are right here, these are all here. Uh, this is the year one DLC ops, the first four in each of these categories, and the last four in each of these categories are the year two. Uh, these, no matter which edition of the game you buy, will cost twelve. Uh, will cost twenty five thousand in game currency, right now. Uh, or you can purchase for the year one operators. You could purchase a a package of Rainbow Six credits, which is premium currency, which you have to buy with real money, not earn the. And you could skip that progression for uh, you can skip that progression for uh, twenty bucks, basically worth of, worth of credits. Um, now you could buy the you can buy this edition, which is the year two gold, which gives you the season pass, which will give you all of the stuff that I just explained in the the standard edition, plus a ten percent discount on everything in the shop, which would include buying those year one operators. Uh, a five percent renown boost permanently. Two extra daily challenges, so you get extra challenges. Six hundred extra credits, so you can use it to start buying those operators down. So if you if it's six hundred credits, I think it's like yeah, you know, whatever. The six hundred credits is about five bucks. Plus you're getting the ten percent discount. So now you're talking with that ten percent discount. That's what uh you know eighteen bucks. Plus here's another five off, so it's thirteen bucks to buy the the, the base operators with. Um, and you get like some bonus things, some headgear and cosmetics and stuff. Uh, and if you buy the complete edition, now this includes, as you can see, roughly the price that I was talking about added to it. Probably a little bit less to buy the complete edition, but you get everything in all in in this other edition with the year two season pass, all that kind of stuff, and you get the first season of operators as well. So you won't have to spend that twenty bucks. So if you know you're all in on this game, like you are going to play this game a lot, buy the complete edition if you have nothing right now. If you're just kind of getting into the game and seeing how you like it, just buy the standard edition for now. You will be perfectly fine. Like, you don't need these other operators. They're good and, like, situationally, like, they're really nice to have, but they're totally not necessary. If you're going to buy, like, two, maybe buy, like, Habana and Mira. Those are pretty useful. Uh, operators to have and they're like i guess good utility operators as well as good fraggers um whereas all the rest of these are just they just add more options like if you just buy if you just get these basic these base operators here the original 20 you will be fine like you do not need these other operators at all they're, they're just extra options they are really fun to play if you're more into the game you'll see more that like maybe you want to play these other operators and then maybe at that time you could spend the money and upgrade um I'll explain all the cosmetic system in this game too really quickly. So like I said, all the maps are free in this game, uh, everything else. So like, for example, if you if you spend, I don't know, we'll just, we'll just go over some stuff. So I'll show you guys all the skins and stuff I kind of, I'll just, we'll go with Ash. So we'll go with uh, skins on the R4C. So I paid real money for this skin. I'll, I'm going to scan over all the skins that I got for, for in-game currency only. I did not pay real money. Uh, I, I paid real money for this skin. Uh, this came with the season pass so this is a season three pass exclusive the season three pass is also for sale you get a bonus 1200 credits um so another another thing is if you know you're gonna buy the year three pass here's another bonus. so if you know you're buying the year three pass you could buy the year two right here and you'll get 600 rainbow credits plus the 10 percent discount plus when you buy the year three season pass you get a 1200 credit bonus so you could buy this year two gold edition and then you could use the and the year three season pass and then use those bonus credits to purchase uh use those bonus rainbow credits to purchase the year one operators now also if you have these right here ubisoft club points 
you can uh, use these to get a discount. I don't really uh, know exactly how that works, but I know you can get 20% off to use that. So not exactly 100% positive on how to use that. But anyway, so you get the idea. Um, but like all of these, the rest of these skins, all of these, all of these, 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 all of these were purchased with, these were purchased for $2.99 each. All of these are for uh, in-game currency. I think these were part of the year one season pass. I think you get these when you buy the complete edition. I'm sure this is free. Uh, all of these were free. So there's also like seasonal stuff all the time. So like for Christmas, they basically give, there's free charms. So you get uh, Ash's birthday charm, whatever. You get uh, here's extra charms, like Christmas charms and stuff. So there's charms for guns. All of those I got for free. Now, pretty much like all of these, uh, all of these things here, these are earned from like your rank for each season, which I've had like. Uh, this is a season pass bonus, but all the rest of these that I'm scanning over were either unlocked for free with challenges. These these I paid real money for. These are the team charms to support Pro League. Uh, all of these, though, that I'm scanning all over, all over. This was unlocked from an alpha pack. These are like all weekly challenges, weekly challenges, weeklies. All these are weeklies. This is from professional, I guess. This is from winning Go For. This is from playing For Honor. Like if you play other Ubisoft games, sometimes you get unlocks in this game. These were premium. All these were like unlocked with in-game currency though, all right here. This was from the season pack. But you kind of get the idea of what I'm going over of like most of this stuff I got, all of this stuff that I'm kind of scanning over right now, all unlocked, this is the year one season. All this stuff was unlocked with year one, was unlocked with in-game. Or from alpha packs. So you have, like I said, the weekly challenges. If you go to club challenges weekly, they're right here. You also have the, uh, daily challenges which show up here you get five of them if you have the season pass uh and that's just kind of like a quick overview like buying guide for this game if you're just kind of getting into it. i know it's kind of long but i wanted to cover as much as possible uh and these are like the premium dlcs right here i'll link all this stuff in the description i'll put this main ubisoft page i could do it with like certain search print video game yes okay i'll link this video game section right here and i'll link the steam page as well in the description um so if you're getting into the game like i said the cheapest way if you know you're all in you want everything you're for sure buying this game i would go with the year two gold edition buy the season three pass get the bonus credits you can buy all the year one um or you could just buy the complete edition and you could buy the season pass if you just want to keep the credits and spend them on cosmetics um, and if you're just getting into the game, I would highly, highly, highly recommend just getting this right now. If you're not sure if you're gonna how much you're gonna play it or whatever, you're kind of there. This version of the game, you can then add on to. You could purchase all this stuff. You can buy the year two pass, or you can buy the new operators with credits. You can buy the year two operators with credits. So remember, at the end of the day, you could always buy everything with credits, and it only ends up costing you a few dollars more. So it's not like you're you're paying like double if you don't buy this version or this version. You do save a little bit of money, but it's it's not that much different. This is more if you want the season pass. The way the season passes to work, uh, I'll explain that as well. I'm forgetting that now. Uh, is these operators to so say like uh, when Mira and Jackal came out, you get to access to these. You don't pay the twenty five thousand. So all of these are unlocked for free when you buy the season pass, and they're unlocked a week early, and then you get a couple cosmetic bonuses plus the credit bonuses. Yeah, so just conclusion really quick. If you're all in 100% and you want all the cosmetics and everything, buy this and the Season 3 Pass. If you want to get everything in the game, you don't care as much about cosmetics, but you want every operator in the game, buy the Year 2 Gold Edition plus the Season 3 Pass, and then you could buy the Year 1 operators, which are in here, with credits, and you'll be set for the whole next year. Or you could just buy only the Complete Edition if you just want everything that's currently in the game, and you could play with that, and maybe if you decide you like the game a lot, then you could buy the Year 3 Season Pass next year. Etc. If you're just getting into the game and you're not really sure, buy the regular edition, don't buy the starter edition. The only reason I would recommend buying the starter edition is like if you do not have the cash. It is a major grind to do to, to go through the starter edition. Whereas if you buy the $20 edition right here, it will uh it'll it'll be you'll have a lot of operators to play with. But if you're fine with playing just a few operators that you don't get to choose. Um, maybe the starter edition is good for you, but I, I would seriously recommend, it. especially if this doesn't go on sale. Generally, all, everything goes about 50% off, so 7, 50, 20, et cetera. Definitely purchase this for 20, especially if this is not on sale. Um, and yeah, that that pretty much covers it. I mean, this isn't this is an awesome game. This is 
an absolutely awesome game. I give huge credit. There's four major updates a year, as well as mid-season. There's like eight updates a year plus smaller updates. There's eight like there's four major updates that introduce new operators and stuff like that into the game characters, and uh, there is there is like four more that are like mid-season reinforcements, which they like update and like balance operators, which they change their abilities and stuff, which is really cool. And there's always like bug fixes and small like little updates, cosmetic updates all the time, like weekly, monthly. Um, so as you can see, I have 4,000 hours in this game, 4,400. Uh, so obviously I've gotten my money's worth. I bought all the season passes, all three years of season passes. Uh, actually, Ubisoft was very kind. They gave me this year for free, but I bought the other ones. I bought tons of cosmetics in this game base game, all that kind of stuff, and I've more than gotten my money's worth, and I just think it's an amazing game. Uh, and like I said, try to buy this edition unless you're positive and look into one of the other ones. But thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I hope this clears up a few things. I'm sorry for the video being so long, but it, it is does take kind of a long time to explain everything in the game. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, I do play this game professionally. You could uh, subscribe. I have daily videos I put up for my Twitch stream and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess just like the like the video, that kind of crap. I guess it does help out. But I will see you guys in the next video, and uh, hope this helped out.